Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. I'm back at the La Mesa RV show here at the South Florida Fairgrounds in West Palm Beach. And I walked in and out of a few of the tagalongs or campers trailers outside in the heat, <clears throat> excuse me. And I wanted to come inside because I didn't walk in any of these. And I don't even know if these are uh, Winnebago's. They might be something different, but these are about 10,000 more than the ones I walked in already. Let's check it out. This is a 2024 model. And all of these trailers have dual axles, which is also a sign of quality. And they have the dual door system. So let's just go in. And the slide outs make it very roomy. So when you come in here, your kitchen is right up front with some windows. As I turn around, you can see that the price is uh, discounted 17,000 has this black mirrored finish residential style um, refrigerator. And then you can sit uh, here or in these theater chairs to watch TV. That obviously will pull out pretty close to you though. And then uh, I've seen one already, the Winnebago. Oh, it's a walkthrough bathroom. Check this out, Tammy. You can come in. It's got the, the bowed out rounded shower doors and you can walk right on through there's the exit door for the bedroom and then here's the bedroom and let me turn around for you guys and show you lots of closet space over here and so if you want to go to the restroom uh, you can go in privately this way and have that door closed and any guests you have this is a slide out can also come in through this door to the restroom All right, so um, this is one here. We're going to come out and take a look at another one. So, hang on a second. All right, so uh, we're going to go into Sunset Trail here. Uh, these again are not the Winnebago. I was just talking to one of the salesmen here, and he was explaining that um, La Mesa RV actually does no longer sell trailers. They are out of them. We got one right here. Nice big bathroom right there. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Sorry, we'll get no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. There's plenty of them to look at. Go ahead. So uh, we're going to walk back over here and look at this next one. I like how these stairs uh, touch the ground and they don't bend or anything. Look at all that storage you have in there with the light. And so this is the uh, North Trail Ultralight. Hi. This is a 24 foot, uh, it is a bunkhouse and it has a slide on it. It has a, um, this is kind of a unique floor plan I've seen. They put this wall here uh, to kind of give you a separate bedroom with the TV. It's a very light colored one inside, but the BH is always the bunkhouse. And this is for families, of course, with kids or, or guests. But a lot of people do use this for storage. Personally, um, now that I've had, that's a big bathroom, pretty big. Check that out. Got a big tub. And uh, it's got a little medicine cabinet there. But uh, yeah, the bunkhouse is not for us because we don't have children and we don't have any guests. It's got that little fireplace in it. But the story goes is they're out of the trailer business, La Mesa RV. They're only selling uh, Class A's, Class B's, and Class C's. And the story was they saw the big market growing on those Class B's that I made in my earlier video. Those Mercedes bus, little van looking things, look like a, uh, what do you call, um, Amazon van. But here's another um, mini Winnebago. We'll look at some other ones down here. I see some people in there. It's got the um, bed in the rear. And uh, they do all have... Uh, dual doors and the dual axle. This is a 25 footer. This is $33,000. And here's, uh, oh, look, here's a single door. Let's check this out. Now, this is a bigger camper than what I have. Get the full, all the way across storage. See, they all have that slide out. 
And that storage doesn't go all the way through in the front. Anybody inside this? Because these are very uh, modestly priced compared to everything else in here, it seems to be a few more looky-loos in these trailers. But this is nice. This is really nice. Nice big bathroom that you can close off, obviously, as soon as you come in the door. There's only one door. It's in the rear. And because it has a slide, you have this extra width here and the theater seating. And then the uh, kitchenette is right there. And then instead of having the, which my bed is in the front as well, uh, this has a little, a close off this door right here you'd pull out. And that's the refrigerator. What do you think about this one, Tammy? It's okay. Look at here, the bedroom's a little kind of claustrophobic because this doesn't <laughs> open up. Only, you can only close this piece Whoa. right here. What is... Yeah, there's, it goes in the middle, I guess, to make it a, yeah, it is pretty wide. But looking back, here's a little storage here. I guess you could just set a TV on some stands because there is a cable box right there. But this is like a... Uh, oh, guess what? There, there, yeah, it does have duct AC. I was going to say, how do you stay cool up here if you close that door? I don't see any air conditioning. But this is uh, another... Uh, quality deal with the Winnebago is you know you got duct AC you got the slide outs on them dual axle I'm sure the floor and the ceilings are supposed to be very well made you know what they have no uh, booth no booth in this one this is a smaller one <clears throat> and who needs it I don't know. A... the only thing bad about this one is I, I'm not fond of this just seems like this would open yeah and it doesn't and it just has that door there so mm -hmm. and look this is low you would you could oh. hit your head here going to the refrigerator <laughs> and then the bathroom let's say that uh, you know you want to do your business and you know um, somebody's sitting right here the bathroom's not kind of like somewhere by itself like in my uh, you know just kind of like this big so many different ways they design uh, on top of a trailer frame what is this wow look at all that wasted space that they could use for more camper I mean that's where your towels go towels you can put a lot you, you can sleep in there man wow but these stairs are nice because they they touch the floor. These legs extend yeah. out, and they don't they don't uh, start to bend. And this is all these awnings today are electric. Mine is a manual, which I have no problem with because it just pulls right out. And you know I wouldn't want to have any problems with it. So there's really no need into going into these smaller ones because they're just what I already have, and uh, they are. A really good I can't believe they actually put a dual axle on this tiny little micro mini that's a look you can, uh, Winnebago is definitely high quality dual axle on this little trailer look at this little thing wow here's the bed let me turn around for you guys got a little there and sitting on the bed, you got a little booth here. There's your TV. And a little nice big sink, though. And it seems... This is what that guy uh, traveling with, uh, what's his name, on YouTube, he has, they give him one every year because he sold more mini oh, winnies. Wow. <laughs> is that a small bathroom? Yeah. This is, this is... Definitely towable with any kind of a vehicle, pretty yeah, much. Well, and it's just, uh, you know, like if you could find one of these a few years old, uh, you could probably just buy it for what I paid for mine. Now, he said on the right, over here is the weight. <laughs> I don't see it, though. 
I don't see it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So 25 large for that one. It's got dual tanks too, by the way. Uh, dual LP tanks. So, and they all seem to have these electric tongue jacks. So, when fiberglass, they're locked up in there. Uh, a high quality bill compared to my key wall up. This is one of those off road jobs again. But by including the dual tanks, the power jack, the dual wheels, the off road tires, That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, again, because we wanted to do some more walkthroughs on these pillars, I don't see anything. So, um, we'll, uh, we'll call it quick. And I do appreciate watching the video. And whatever you.